Julian Hill, Member of Parliament of the Australian Parliament. We reported that the US, in its effort to obtain Julian Assange and win its appeal, the US is now promising not to put Julian Assange under special administrative measures or isolation and to allow him to be imprisoned in Australia if convicted. So I just wondered if Australia had been asked about this and if they had agreed. Uh, I don't suppose you'd know, but it seems to me an extraordinary move. Well, I don't know whether Australia was consulted or agreed. As is news here, our Prime Minister has not been seen for days. He's disappeared because of the failing vaccine program and quarantine problems. But in terms of a broader response to the US announcement, it sounds desperate, frankly ridiculous. Their case is falling to bits with the news that one of the key witnesses has fabricated evidence. This just seems like a strange stunt in their desperation to get their hands on Assange. Really, they need to respect the UK court's judgment, which found clearly on humanitarian grounds that he's not well enough to be extradited on health grounds. And the promise not to put him in supermax conditions, effectively saying, oh, well, we won't really torture him. We'll just try and pursue him for an effective death sentence of 175 years. It's nonsense. In any event, they're saying, but even if eventually after years in a supermax prison, under what conditions we give him a nice room in the supermax prison, after years of that treatment, when he's exhausted all appeals and he's almost inevitably convicted, given no defendant has ever escaped conviction in the Eastern District Court of Virginia, after all of that, then we'll send him back to Australia to serve his effective death sentence. I mean, this is ridiculous. They really need to drop the charges and to be nice about it, they won every point of principle. You know, that's what worries me and many people supporting this. They've won the points of principle they were seeking to establish. Um, they really need to stop the persecution of Assange and let it go. Don't you think that they risk losing in the counter appeal that the defence may launch on the points that they won? the political points in terms of extraditing and persecuting journalists. Many people are behind this case and with growing momentum and support to drop the charges. Uh, As they think about those points of principle, the chilling effect on the media, freedom of speech, freedom of the press, most importantly, as has been said widely, if what the US government or the Trump administration started has now sort of been continued, if the principle that they were chasing was around in the 1970s, then the Pentagon Papers never could have been published. So, you know, there are points of principle which they sought to win and they've convinced the judge in the UK, you're absolutely right, they do risk losing those arguments, particularly now one of their witnesses is collapsing, in a counter-appeal if they want to pursue this case. It may well be a lot smarter for the US, disagree with them on this issue as I do about the points of principle, it may well be a lot smarter for them to do the right thing on humanitarian grounds and simply drop the charges. Okay. Was there anything else you wanted to say? Look, the other thing that many Australians are feeling is enough is enough. This has gone on for years, a decade, that this guy's been incarcerated one way or another. And it's way past time that the Australian government, the Australian Prime Minister, stood up for this Australian, stood up for our citizen, uh, and asked the US to drop the charges and committed between the UK, the US and Australia, that he will not be extradited and leave it at that. Stop the mobbing. 